After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, mm -hmm. how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Uh, Liyue is just so much better. It's so... Indeed. The weight of 3,700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liyue. It does. It does run deep. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. So you're not even worried about the Fatui because you're so confident in how things are working around here? But you just... Look, the Qixing seem pretty corrupt. Ling Wang of the Qixing has always oh, been God. on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? Yeah. I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. Okay. Hmm. These are the advanced Child is kind of sus. Provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Child is kind of sussy. Hmm. Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Hmm. Now that the new hottie has entered the scene, Child is suddenly sus, but Child had to ask Zhang Li for money. <laughs> so, um, I mean... <laughs> Child is in there trying to figure out how to use his chopsticks while I go get money from Zhang Li. So, okay. No, it's the other way around. He said that the Fatui are the financial sponsors. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I got it. Yeah, I got it backwards when I was talking to Zhang Li. He just has a. He has a. Uh, An aura. <laughs> he has a confusingly rich aura. He's the funeral parlor guy, and he, child needs his connections so that they can do the ride of parting. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. I'd rather do the ride of joining. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? Oh, girl, don't ask me. Not to Lucas J. <gasps> He's right here, he's behind us! Grade at the very I... least. He's still with us. I just bought, like, almost... Radiant grade, not to Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not Shopping like the ones day. You usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Uh. A man who likes makes his living off betting on stones can't be trusted so lightly. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? I mean, you're I don't know anything about this stuff and and you know so much about it. You're so like well informed and I'm new oh, here. I don't know. You want me to decide. Yeah, of that course. That is fine as well. I have to defer to your intellect on this. If it this. were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... 
I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. He has such panache and such extraordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. <laughs> take them all. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Yeah. Oh, Mora. Hmm. It is the as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? What? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? Okay, so he's either like an Estinian or he is super rich. If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. I don't know which one it is. He's either dumb as hell, or he's so rich he doesn't have to look at the price. Uh, what? <laughs> all Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. Well, yeah, there's there's a lot of currencies. There's like intertwined the fate. Um, there's Stardust. There's what? It sounds like he's loaded. He's so loaded that he doesn't <laughs> hunting for a bug. Yeah, he is. No need to waver. He even is. I am constrained by Mora. He's I loaded. He doesn't patients. have to worry about it. it. Oh shit! Lucas Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference. He doesn't in texture, give a fuck. Lustrousness and internal pattern between good and bad jade yes it true very tricky only after the item made using noctilucus <laughs> jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not okay uh -huh. i will if you return to those crafty merchants to quibble <laughs> they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame or that your heat control was poor So you need a... <laughs> Never mind. Whoa, Strong to bench. That easy to Good heat cheated. control. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What? What does that mean? Oh my god, my mom shut up. If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. Okay. So he says don't pay attention to his finger. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. <laughs> Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness and so its brightness is the important thing it is the moon okay so don't worry about the finger but what it's doing Dr. lucas jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity in other words the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I didn't realize you're such an expert of such a high caliber. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. What, are we gonna be cutting Jade? I don't think so. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Then I'm not buying any. <sighs> not buying? Uh, come, come now, my good friends. We can still discuss this. Negotiation is key to trade, wouldn't you say? 
Uh, how about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. Hmm, but it's not right. gonna be good these jade. Samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. They're so thin. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. How stingy. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more and you may as well have my neck. Gosh, this guy's a pain in the ass. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. Okay. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Uh... That sounds oh. complicated. Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Uh, how about... Um, somewhere far away. Oh, Paima remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty Tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Oh, I think I remember that. I think I remember. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. Okay. He's gone already. Moonfinger? What? The name? <laughs> the quest is called Moonfinger. I can't get there fast enough. Shouldn't it be night, though? It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Sumeru's snake wine? Gross. I thought it was called Sumeru, not Sumeru. Is it like Sumeria? Well, there's the pot. That's the pot. <sighs> it looks Shut like up. the trolls are still <laughs> using it. It's a bit of the light, but we have a are the line. same person. We're the same. Busted. Take it easy. Here comes the catch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Gotcha. What's the hurry? Dodge this. Quietly now. Got him. There's still soup in here. These hilly churls sure have big appetites. Shame to let it go all the ways. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. We're gonna We're cook rocks in go. it. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Uh-oh. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Oh no. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. So we need the <laughs> crystal blue rocks. That's how you know it's pure. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Um, the third. Exactly. 
Exactly. That's the one Baimon remembers, too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. All of it. And we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. <gasps> I'd heard the you shouldn't have said that. Given much thought to them. This... You shouldn't have this told him that. This means that really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Uh-oh. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Wait, you <clears throat> you held on to the spoon that he licked? Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure you didn't want to even give us an inch before? That's what I was going to say. Do you realize the margins you must be making on this shit? If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, now he wants us to think he's not even earning money off of it. <sighs> I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Leo I don't Chisi, trust him at and all. good honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liyue will continue to prosper, <clears throat> as it always has done. So let's not get ourselves down just All right. yet. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. I don't believe now him at all. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. He just keeps forgetting to pay? Oh my goodness. So, not only is he loaded, but he's not good at keeping track of the money and, like, what you need to pay for and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. As I thought, I oh didn't my god. bring any. Wait, what? Any what? Mora, my apologies. Another oversight on my part. Great. Um... Where is it? Oh, that won't be... <laughs> this isn't some small sum. Wait. Oh, wait. Is this guy full Did of shit? Did give us some advanced funds earlier? Oh my god, I have to use the money child gave me. That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? Oh, no. I don't know what to think about this guy. It's fine. <laughs> Just enough for half price. <laughs> <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be alright even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. He left That's his... That's where we plan to hold the right. He forgot his wallet. This guy, he's the guy that <laughs> is going to take me on a date and be like, Oh, left my wallet. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. I guess we need to find a child for more funding, don't we? Hmm. It seems that we must. Uh-huh. I will keep that in mind. It, it does Thanks, seem that way. Both of you. It does seem that way. What a shame. What a shame. But I don't know. This is a sort of difficult, difficult top toss up between these two men because the child is just so much more reliable. But then again, what if 
He just, you know, can't keep track of his money. Just put the rocks. We can leave the jade here. Yep. I have already called for a jewel smith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Okay. I mean, okay. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and Kit, see. Did child. you pay the jewel smith? So, as for the jewel smith's remuneration, I hope Child will pay for it. Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. <sighs> I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. Um, the rite of dissension took place That's here. That's right. The Liu e Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. We're, we're not suspects. Why are we acting so sus about it? Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayun Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Because they know who did it. And they know it's not us. And it's an inside job, probably. Also, the, uh, Rex Lapis Vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. They did. Why? One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. They do know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. It feels pretty sus. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. But I'm an adventurer. Like, if I don't help, they'll never figure it out. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The Golden House? The only mint in Liyue. Which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Mm-hmm. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. <laughs> Her reaction. Wow. But why do you know this, Mr. Jean? Wow. Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Chi-Sing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Maybe it's okay that he doesn't have money because, I mean, he looks pretty cool. So... The Qi Xing provide the location and child of the Perhaps funds. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. True. In Liu, <laughs> where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Little maneuvers. Mm, you're morally flexible. Well, then, we should go and prepare That's the good. perfumes used in the right. Yeah, he doesn't seem like. Uh, look, he doesn't really seem like a bad boy either. Let's be honest. Okay, it's like, well, the rules are rules, but you can bend them a little bit. <laughs> Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Um. Okay. Silk, silk flower flowers. petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant and is especially suited for solemn events. Like giving offerings to gods and adepti. I like the idea of the silk flower. That's vegan silk. That's fine. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. <laughs> <laughs>
We shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. The perfume. Okay. Moonfinger. Is that like his nickname? Hey, boss. Do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Oh my god, I remember this guy. I remember him. He's a super creepy guy. <laughs> oh no, it's Boli again. Which kind? The, uh, the good <laughs> kind? The best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. He was so creepy. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. What the fuck did you just say? Golden housemaiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. Where's the customer service in here? He said we have stupid questions. He's, this guy doesn't give a fuck. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. <gasps> Please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Well, I mean, maybe, but that's none of your business. <laughs> this is what I get for calling my mom. I didn't call her that, though. You don't even recognize me? I'm sorry. Ah, yes. We've met before, haven't we? Sorry, Traveler. I shouldn't have spoken to you in that tone. Now you did me before. Please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens. Excellently preserved. Look, look how can he... Does he also think Zhongling is loaded? Because this is a big question mark right now. Like, uh, this is maybe this is what we're going to figure out. Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Um... He's like an encyclopedia about Lastly, everything. this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring Wait, what? scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. The strain? Uh... What kind of shop is this? <laughs> so... Just wondering, what are we gonna be doing with these silk flowers? With the, uh... Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Due to geographical changes? Uh... Wait a minute. Why is he lecturing everybody about their job? Hmm. You know what? I just realized earlier when I thought I assumed that he was rich. But he never said it. I just assumed that. And this guy also assumed that I'm like his servant. But Hmm. Wow, hmm. a true connoisseur. Most of that was news hmm. even to me. 
I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. He's up here lecturing the guy about the different strains that he sells. He's like, well, this... What's so impressive about that? Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? Uh, I don't know, I guess, um, uh, Blue Dream? I'll take them all, boss. Wait, again? You better have the money this time. Again? You better have the money this time. How can I put this? You better have When this. purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is <laughs> not an analogous case. The same logic does Wait. not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Is that the tradition? I don't know. Like, like the guy would know. The merchant would traditions, know. This one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. Uh -huh. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. I mean, he sounds right. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> Do you have any Mora? Are you that? fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? The nerve of this guy. You know what? I think you're full of shit. Do I have more on me? This fucking guy. I think he's scamming me. I think this guy's fucking scamming me. But wait, if he is scamming me, then that would make him a bad boy. So... <laughs> Either he's loaded or he's a bad boy. You forgot to bring money again. <laughs> I win either way. I see a pattern. If I may interject. Did I hear you say that <laughs> these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? He did say that. He yes, did. In a sense. Gosh, well, why he didn't did. you say so? <laughs> I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. He's got all he's got it good on it credit. Would be bad luck to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. But I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. Us too. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. You better hurry up and sell it because we've got to see the opera in a minute. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, <laughs> they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? The skies are Mark. I just realized. Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be <laughs> worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Wait. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my... So Rex Lapis wrote the poems or was that something else that this dude had been setting up a long huh. time ago so much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses thank you boss i think i speak for all of us when i say that your generosity has saved our skins <clears throat> yes my lord isn't it time we're moving on our skins you were the one who forgot to bring money! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Just so! Elvin Kitty, thanks for the ten subs! Appreciate it. Please, it's the least I could do. What a sucker. So, 
now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. I have some experience in the art of decoction. <laughs> Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by first asking world? around in the city. Try the common folk. There's a concept of first world in here? If there's first world, then what's second world? And third world in this universe? Wait, 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 what did you just say? I need you to help by asking around and say, try the common folk, especially women. Why especially women? So this time we get to go around town looking for oh, because nice of the perfume. ladies to talk to? Right. Mine likes this job. Of course, they're the ones that I have the perfume. wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Make but are they the ones that know how to make it? That's why I'm confused. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. This fucking guy. <gasps> Let's ask Lan. She's master of the Leeway Branch, right? This... Fucking guy. How stupid does he think I am anyway? He pulled the same trick twice. And he thinks I'm not gonna catch on. And then he did all of this bullshit about, oh well, you know, Mora is really in the eye of the beholder and the the little Mora in a moon is better than the Mora on the finger. And the finger is what matters and not the, where it's pointing at, and uh... Wait a minute! He said the... Wait! He said... Wait! He said the finger is what matters. Not what it's pointing at. He's been, like, scamming people with the appearances. He's been fingering everybody. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, <laughs> it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. You smell great. Wow. Just wow. Did, did, she, not like, <laughs> did she not like me saying that? I'm just going to assume that you're either joking or being sarcastic. No. To be fair, I put a lot of effort into my appearance for someone who spends all their time in the great outdoors. But I smell great? Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> wow, she is toxic as hell. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? That is so funny. Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. <laughs> I was about to say, is it the smell of bullshit? Because I've been hanging out with Zhongli all day. Maybe that's what you're smelling. Aha! Uh -huh. The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about <laughs> perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. Okay. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lan. See you around. Um, uh, the fortune teller. Am I going to get my fortune told? I hope so. Hello. How may I help? Fortune teller, when will Deluxe come home? We've come to ask you a question. You smell great. Uh, I... Sorry, you caught me off guard. Most people aren't so direct. Well, I'm from America, and so that's why. I think we need more time to get to know each other. What? No. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to know what perfume you normally use. 
Mm. Oh, um, well, I don't actually use any. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. What hairspray Since you I use? I usually set up my stall by the docks. I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you'd rather not wear perfume than carry a That's dagger in your garter. Heard all day. It is. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Ar? Oh, as in scent of spring, Ying Er? Um, Yes, no. that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, finally. This girl was weird, man. Hey, but what about my fortune? If you have the time... Come and have your fortune told down by the harbor. I'll give you a special price. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Wow, there is not much going on in this town. <laughs> That's how fast the rumors spread that we were just telling people they smelled nice. Hey, Yinger, you're never, you're never going to believe this. Here's the tea. There's, there's some people walking around town right now complimenting people on how they smell. Yeah, they're going around. There's, they're telling, they told like two girls already that they smell good. You didn't hear it from me, but that's the scoop. Just want to tell you. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? Yeah. What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Wait. What does she know? What other kind of rumors are spreading? Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? This isn't you? about the perfume at all. What kind would you like? Oh, fuck. She said people talk. This isn't about perfume. Shit. Um. <laughs> I'm not wearing any, darling. Could it be that you've been bewitched by my natural scent? If so, I'm afraid it's one of a kind. <laughs> what? What is up with the girls in this town? That's such a... It's, it's not a normal thing to say. I would never, I can't imagine a circumstance in which this would be an okay thing sentence to say out loud. <sighs> Whatever this is, you guys need to get <laughs> yeah. out of it right now. Yeah, Remember yeah. the silk flowers? Have you been bewitched by my natural scent? <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, nobody has a good natural scent. Nobody does. Okay. Everybody smells like ass. If you don't take a shower and you don't bathe yourself and don't use soap. Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. Smelling <gasps> 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 No. <laughs> this is way too 
much. It's way too much. <laughs> Someone your age. What does that mean? You're on the. <laughs> I... <laughs> Maybe the rumors are true. I'm on. <laughs> You know what? I don't like this passive aggressive bullshit. You got a problem? You got a problem? We need to we need to take it outside. Ay ay ay, who let this tiger out of the cage? <laughs> oh. Well, with your looks, who can blame you? Oh my god. You got it. Flaunt it. Oh my god. I can't deal with this lady. I can't deal with this lady at all. One of my favorite poems. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> oh cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. <laughs> Look, I don't know what you heard about about me and Shangli and the child, but. Begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring. For come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> I've never been called out so hard by a game in my entire life. She's like... Go ahead and get deflowered all you want, because one day that wood it won't be as firm as it once was. That went over Paimon's head a little. I'll tell you when you're older, sweetheart. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. <laughs> Traveler, you can be my assistant. But no. you better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. She knows. It's like she's been watching the stream. This is way too, like she has way too much information. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Um. How about somewhere nearby? You mean Wan Mean Restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. Hey. I'm I'm here. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Okay. Are you ready to please me? No. What did she say? <laughs> what did she say? Then I won't make me proud as my assistant, obviously. I feel like she's slut shaming me, okay? Well I'm setting up. You can go and fetch some water. Okay. Why don't you do that? And <laughs> I'll just go get the water. Take it easy. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> oh man, we needed some water for sure. Splash some water on our face. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Man, I feel like when they were writing this quest, they are just like, you know what? Whatever the fuck you want to put in there is fine. Just gonna go nuts, really. It's Friday. Whatever the fuck you want to write is fine. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. Uh, she's helping me. She's helping me learn. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Uh huh. I I know that already. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> I'm aware of that. <laughs> now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, you're a natural. I like know. a fish to water. It's not my first rodeo, sweetheart. Now take these and try it out on your own 
using a nearby crafting bench. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Um. Let's just do the crafting. Yeah, make the essential oils. Yes. That one. That one. Firmly grasping the mortar and pestle. Rhythmically rubbing it all around the base until the juice comes out, just like she suggested. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. Mm -hmm. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the this water is, is boiled off. This is too much. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't yes, waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. We do. Okay. You help. This part had to be censored out, apparently. You, my friend, <laughs> wonderful assistant. This part was just... Um... Okay. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. It's not like anyway, that. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each it's scent? not like that, okay. It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Yeah. Who wants to hear this? Yeah. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. <clears throat> women will love it. Is it edible? The second <clears throat> one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Okay. What's the consistency like? Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, <clears throat> like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. <clears throat> I... I got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? Okay, bestie. I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously <laughs> should be careful. <laughs> Not to go over oh my god! I've never Mr. been Shadow so called out in my life mile. by a fucking video game. Wow. I can't do this. <laughs> she who tries to sail three boats at once. 
<laughs> better be careful. <laughs> Not to fall overboard. Jesus Christ. Mr. Zhongli, did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Okay. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept <laughs> over Liu, this was but a brief moment. Okay. He's just been docked at the harbor. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? <laughs> That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Yeah. I did. Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. I did, I brought the perfume. Let us offer them up. Golden this House. This kind of perfume. Maiden. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the Valley one. Weaver. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. Fate's the yearning. Kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? Looks like Rex really likes <laughs> the third one. He likes... Mature ladies. That's the one older ladies like, right? Yes. Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, actually. I didn't consider. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless <laughs> forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. Yeah. Totally. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon <laughs> form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. <sighs> what ulterior motives do child and the chi Sing have? So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. I feel like I need a cleansing bell after what we Cleansing bell? We do need the cleansing At present, bell. A friend of mine named Madame P. <laughs> we the do guardian need of it. The cleansing bell. Smart, smart. She lives near Eugene Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. He can't be around the cleansing bell. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? I like that. That's good. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven oh, here he is. You We're just shopping again. Made to order. Would you like to take them now? Shopping with Shangli some more. He ordered seven kites already. Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. Yes, he's a very well traveled and cosmopolitan. We've man. talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. <clears throat> we talked about tea, perfumes, birds and the bees. He seems to know Liu's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. <laughs> Can always count on Paimon to roast every person that we meet. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> oh, really? 
children's toys are very fun things, that's, that's nice. for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play we as can't... much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Uh... I don't know about this the old lady voice we got going on here. <laughs> like, <laughs> not exactly. I feel like it's like my old lady voice, to be honest. I've made kites in the UA for 40 years. I'm intimately familiar Indeed. with Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. <laughs> oh. Zhongli, you know so much about kites. Are you a connoisseur? I took the liberty a of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. What's the Golden House? Is there a golden kitchen in the golden house? Is there a golden bathroom with a golden shower? Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Paimon, stop talking. Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity <laughs> so dear to the Electro Archon. What? These markings of tree and leaf, they <laughs> do honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Uh-huh. Wow, you know a lot about that. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame, as does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes, these details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Hey. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take this back with me. <laughs> As for the payment. <laughs> uh oh. Well, allow uh, me. Uh oh. Uh, <gasps> oh, but. Hey, it's Child. Who's that? That's. Is he here with the money? Did you? You ambushed us. <laughs> no way. I was just passing through. Oh no, it's a competition now. This is tough because he's got the actual money. But he's been really nice to me so far. Zhang Li doesn't have any money, and he, but he's been a dick, which is. <laughs> I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. <laughs> We're getting others to pay for him. He doesn't look at the price tag. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. You came in here and you blew up his whole scam, child. We're about to get these kites for free. Go away. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. Hmm. Because people always foot the bill. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna teach him a lesson? Of hunger yet. <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, what? there's no need to take a break before moving to the next <laughs> step in our preparations. Holy shit! Without 
skipping a beat. He's just right back at it. Like, oh, you're full of shit. What a joker. What a kidder this guy is. I almost believe him. Wow. He just... <laughs> that was so smooth. So smooth. He's, he didn't get his ruff... He did not get his feathers ruffled at all. At all. He was just like, yeah. Well, uh, looks like we bought our, what we needed, so let's just move on then. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. <laughs> we should be able to find some people near the harbor. Doesn't even care. He oh, doesn't even care. Away, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. <sighs> this is the hardest decision. But we, maybe we can sail three boats, okay? He said, by the way, take this bag of money. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I suppose I'll just have to find a more it's opportune hard. moment next time. I'm struggling. <laughs> this is the most difficult decision. <laughs> Wait, there's four boats. Well, Kaya, <laughs> he's more, <laughs> he's more like a raft, okay? He's like a life raft. <laughs> he's like a bridge, okay? Hiring help? Sure, but let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Um. <laughs> Adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Uh, brave adventurer. We have need of five crystal flies. That, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Ah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? Wait, what? I'm the quest giver. You're the adventurer. So I did it's my decision how much money you get. You you don't have any say over it. You just take whatever I give you. What are you like level one? A most fair price. What? Zhang Li, what the fuck? Maybe Paimon can pay. No, fuck this guy. He wants 15k. How can I? About. There we go. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I say. Oh, yeah? No, it's six. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I say. You know what? Now it's... less. His mood is less. Mmm... No, you know what? Fuck you. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I Oh, say. he didn't like that at all. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, look, I can be reasonable. I can be reasonable. Uh... <sighs> Negotiate with caution. I offered seven. Look, I'll give you an extra eight... How Maybe, okay, maybe a little more. How about that? That's good. 15,000 mora, not one less. That's the lowest I'm going. End of story. Hey, don't get mad. Uh, 
guess we have no choice but to pay in full. Look, it's my character. She's just not good at negotiating because she's got this, like... <sighs> she's got this blank stare. You can't negotiate like that. You gotta, like... <laughs> you gotta wink and smile a little bit. Come on, now. What the fuck are you doing? You can't just be like, Oh. Oh. It's her fault. Crap. Make my escape. You should make Zhang Li do it. A full leave. day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair trade, yes. Skill issue. It's not a skill issue. Whoa, that's expensive. <laughs> um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole hero of Mondstadt thing? You said I wouldn't survive a day in Lala Luilo. Hero of Mondstadt? I would. Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, let's be more reasonable this time. Let's start with, like, that much. Let's start with a, a low ball. That's too <laughs> no. low. Hardly a fair price. Okay, that was way too low. Okay, how about that much? This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, chat. So you start with a ridiculously low offer, and then when you offer more, they think they got a deal. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, help? Sure. What out of three fish? <laughs> always put in 100% effort into everything I do. But your name is of Tick. Course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. Based. Honestly, based. Tick is based. <laughs> I respect it. I do. I do. Man. There'll be a premium if you want me to give 110 So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing sure. some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Fetch me 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Bad. Done. <gasps> we don't have enough money, Zhongli. This is all you got? Then no can do. Child. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a... Um, I'm with Paimon, and we were trying to get dinner, and we don't have any money. Can you give me some more? <laughs> Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Oh, still no. N wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? I don't know, yeah. Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and... You can take Paimon, she's probably... Get me a single chinkson flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? Drugs. Yes, we've got no choice. Sugar daddy child. <laughs> yes, it really is. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinks and flower, That's I funny. should be able to pacify my daughter <laughs> tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. I also have no idea where it's found. I just pick up everything I see, so I've got no fucking idea what it is or where I got it. But I do have it. I don't know if you noticed, every time I had a quest where they're like, Can you bring me... X material, or can you bring me this dish? Or can you bring me this rare rock? I have it. I don't have to go look for it at all. I just click on everything I see. 
I, I cannot not click on the sparkly thing. I'm fully stocked. Oh. Hey, I need some more money. I already spent what... It's so expensive in this town. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover <gasps> cash is yours to keep. <laughs> for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> Any leftover cash is mine to keep? Oh, that's... That's so, <laughs> that's so sweet of you. But do you have some extra? You think you can buy us off with some loose change? Yeah. No way. Yeah. He demands to know when the next payment is coming. There's... We already spent so much, there's not a lot left. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the <laughs> Northern Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. Wait, what? <laughs> what? He can't be serious. What do you need? Why am I saying no? Hey, where's the other option? <laughs> where's the hell yeah option? Is he really going to let me do that? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? I mean, what else could he want? Come on. Yikes! You're right! <laughs> You both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. You just handed me a bag of money and said I can keep it. What do you think got into me? Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. It's not it's not tense. Eh, <laughs> tenandayo! <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Yeah. Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. <laughs> he was just saying that I could keep all the extra money that he has in his pocket and that he didn't have to borrow from anyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Where are you going? Wait, just because Zhang Li got here. Simon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Yeah, it was a little bit weird, champ, when Zhang Li showed up. We just need to keep them separate from each other. Like, I mean, you can't. <laughs> Take it easy. We shouldn't dock all our boats in the same harbor, you know what I mean? Like, we should spread them out a little bit. <laughs> Take it easy. That girl was right, you know. I mean, just because you can't sail all three boats at the same time doesn't mean you can't. I don't know. We'll think about that later. The huh. pharmacy. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's the pharmacy? Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I don't see any Boo Boo. Them. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? Zhongli, protect me! The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out <laughs> and Simon will bring up the rear? Okay. Okay, good plan. Make Kaya do it. <laughs> Wait! Oh no! Oh, there you are! But you can't even reach the counter! Is she a 
Zombla? Oh, it's the Gigi. Be right. Look at the talisman on her forehead. And she's got something coming out of her hat. But I don't want to pull it. <laughs> I don't want to pull it out. We just gotta leave it there. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do not want to pull it. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. You now, will pull her. Chi Chi is do. a zombie. <clears throat> so. What? She is really a zombie. Such nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Hmm. Something like this, this would be unimaginable creepy. in Mondstadt. Her voice is creepy as hell. I don't like it at uh, all. Hello, little girl. But <laughs> what? Do you sell everlasting incense here. Straight to business. You don't give a fuck. I love this about Zhongli, man. I love this about Zhongli. Like, he doesn't care how weird things get. Like, he doesn't care about any other circumstances. He's here to do get what he needs and leave. He's like, oh, okay, you're, you're a zombie. And you're, okay. Uh, do you have the... Do you have NyQuil here? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. I don't like this at These all. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Why is she being so difficult? I'm afraid that she's probably right. It's to do with her orders. Her orders? What does that mean? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. What? And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Yeah, I think that the VA is good. Uh, but I think it's meant to be creepy. And it is creepy to me. I think the VA does what, like, is doing what they're meant to do. Um, so... The zombie issues orders to herself, and My so... My Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. That seems like a loophole. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Is there like a little bit of a loophole in zombie law, don't you think? Okay, then. Okay. How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. No, Chi Chi. No. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? I'd like to speak to the manager. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. <laughs> that way everybody wins. Sometimes in Lyra, <laughs> the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. A P2P transaction, and that way everybody wins. Of course you think that. Of course you think that. I'm not surprised at all that Zhongli is a big fan of the peer-to-peer -peer transactions. This way you get what you want and you didn't have to pay. That's a, <laughs> makes a lot. It's right on brand for you, man. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. She's playing games with us. I don't believe so. The Guizhong Ballista, at least, I have heard of before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. It's a kind of crossbow turret. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Located okay. in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. How big are we talking? Like, what kind of... Mr. Zhang How Li big? really knows Leela inside out. Apparently not quite. 
This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat? The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. Is it like a cryptid? Did you want to add anything else? Or... <laughs> no. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. Why? Okay. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Um, Del, why don't you tell us if you remember anything else that you don't remember? Very well, then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? Hmm. Well, it sounds like a goat that makes chocolate milk. And chocolate cheese. Okay. Um. It's good that Chi Chi makes us go do this, though, because it's more time to spend with Zhongli. Hey. I spent a lot of time yesterday collecting all the different teleports that I could. I'm cuckoo for Coco Go. <laughs> we'll see if I am or not. Ah! Check. It's huge. Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. Everything seems bigger to you, Paimon. You're small. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. I bet Zhang Li can do it. Mm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. What? Oh, what? It broke? It's broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! <laughs> hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. Oh. I don't think that. At all, Zhongli. I mean, you're a bad boy, and you're a really good scammer, and I love that about you. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, <laughs> yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. Um, mm -hmm. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. Uh, he does know a lot, though. But I can't tell how much it is true. And how much... The problem is also that I'm very gullible. This is this is really bad thing about me. I'm very naive, and I have a huge issue where I tend to just immediately believe everything people say. <laughs> I'm aware of this problem, and like I try to not do that, but my instinct is always to trust people and just believe them. <laughs> it's a really huge, huge issue for me, and so like I'm <laughs> somebody like Zhang Li could manipulate me very easily. If I'm we afraid. can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored. We may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. <laughs> so bad. Once. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? Yeah, he like, I think he actually knows how it works. I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. It's like, yeah, where does his real knowledge end and his bullshitting begin? I have no fucking clue. With I got no idea. Hand, I could at least tinker with it. Okay. I trust him. I think he knows what, what he's doing. <laughs> These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. Let's see if he knows what he's really talking about. It is done. 
The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. He does know. Ooh. Now how do we turn it on? So he seems like a really smart guy. And so he can figure stuff out. But he's also really good at bullshit. So it's like... <laughs> It's very difficult to know where is where one ends and the other begins. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over oh. here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. There's the hilly trail camp over to the left. We can tr test it out on them. Yeah? Hey, <gasps> just what do you think you're doing? Uh... Uh-oh. So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what, exactly? <laughs> um... Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Look, you cannot... You cannot ruffle this dude's feathers at all. He just does not get bothered. By anything. I, I don't know if it's gonna happen later, but so far, he just... <laughs> it's like, cool as a cucumber at all times. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. That's not a very good name. Y'all need a cooler name, okay? This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures. <laughs> But you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. Treasure hoarders. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Maybe just the horde for short. Uh. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. Oh, what? So it, <laughs> it will fire off at anyone? that it determines to be uh like coming in to just loot and pillage but well, huh. a few of us risked our lives to disarm it which amazingly we managed and then we turn our backs for two seconds and you <laughs> got and repaired it <laughs> well yeah the next thing you'll be repairing is your faces and that's if you get out of this alive! Man, he really hates this ballista. He really fucking hates tut, it. Tut, tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. Tut, tut, he said. <sighs> he has such, like, a regal bearing, don't you think? It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Oh? Will you do the reprimanding? Oh. Okay. There was something someone said the other day that I, I realized I didn't understand completely. About like an off-field hero and an on-field hero. didn't know who they were messing with. <laughs> no, they didn't. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. I've had enough of this rubble! Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our coca goat? Yeah, where's the coca goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. Wait, the. Is the Ballista like a Star Trek tricorder? Is like a scanner? What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. Repairing this was a complete waste of time. My mom wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? Yeah, we did murder a bunch of people, so that was worth it. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. All right. Yeah. 
We did our best, and that's what counts. Mm hmm. We saved the city, Patrick. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. I feel like you felt that way before we left. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? What do you need this cocoa goat for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. <gasps> so tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. Girl, just drink almond milk! What the fuck? I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I... Because not only would we need to find a cocoa goat, but now we would need to find a pregnant cocoa goat or one that just had the baby. So that it would be lactating, Chi Chi. What the... F this isn't reasonable. Just drink some oat milk. Ah, here. This is the name. There you go. Coconut there you go. Milk. Yeah, yeah. Do that instead. Huh? Yes. <sighs> what? I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child. <laughs> and perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. You hastily agreed to an agree. Well, I don't see this happening again, so I accept Never your apology. Mind, John Lee. You didn't know, as the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and. Um, <laughs> Supposed to predict anything. Literally, no one <laughs> could have seen this coming. Is that the proverb? I think it is. Uh, okay. It's all things are random. <laughs> so. <laughs> and so, how are you supposed to predict anything? Well, nobody taught me that lesson better than Chi Chi. No one could have seen that coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? <sighs> Are we mad at you? No. Oh, sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. First, you need to find a coconut that just gave birth to another coconut. And then you gotta take the little, the little smaller coconut and throw it in the ocean. And then you gotta find the teat on the coconut, the mama coconut. No, Im impossible. Yeah, it's nasty, I know, but it's better than whatever you're trying to get. It seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. She just needs look. They all. She needs to grow up. Okay, it's the real world, Paimon. <laughs> Wait. Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. No. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. No, 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 not another one. No, <laughs> this isn't happening. <laughs> Three boats is already too many. Artie can... <sighs> Might I ask Fuck. who? Fuck! Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Why is he wearing a crop top at work? What the fuck is this? I meant that Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. He's got a pet snake? Oh my god. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. <laughs> wow! This is the first.
first time Paimon got roasted first. Usually Paimon gets to it. Wow, a talking snake. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shan. Oh my god. She's oh my a god. good girl, really. Oh my god. As for you three, oh my god. The chaos but causal the... Chi Chi aside. What business brings you here? I, uh, why were we here? Um, we needed, uh, um, there was a reason. Um, not coca goat milk. Um, there was something else. We Do you sell everlasting incense oh, right. in this fine establishment? Yeah, okay. Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> At last, things are finally starting to come together. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. <sighs> you might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, too bad the cheesing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Three million for uh, some incense? Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. Um, do you... <laughs> I don't know how you're going to weasel your way out of this it's one. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. Shut up, Paimon! Let him do his thing! <laughs> this is correct. Oh. Wait. Did he just admit he actually has zero money? Yeah, he actually has no money. At all. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Yeah, but but maybe not because a new boat has appeared on the horizon. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Coco goat, Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that. Well, well, Yeah, that's so mean. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. <laughs> um. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. Oh? If Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Now here's a guy talking who actually has the cash on hand, okay? He's got not just enough cash to buy this incense or whatever, but he's ready to set up a fucking empire. I'm just saying, you know. I'm just saying. Strange. He can get he can provide the milk. Treated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Oh yeah. Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. I uh, can. This is the moment of truth. Can child pay for it? That's like zero difference from three million. I know. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. 
Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Who's got the well, money? Now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Is it. <gasps> He's gonna bow out to us, everybody else will get it and deal with it. He knows. Paimon already told on him, so he's just gonna leave and leave us with the. B Ch Child, what are uh, we gonna do? That lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last Child time I laughed so gonna... hard. He's gone. So, you've been yeah, eavesdropping. Yeah, he I did. Hope. Child paid what for have it. I missed? Child just paid for it. Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Wait. Well, uh -huh. well, well. Ningguang and her cheesy <laughs> cronies. What else would they be hiding in the golden house? Well, Not well, well. Indeed. Ningguang. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. He did warn me. So he's been spying on me. Child has been spying on me. He's got his operatives watching me. And he has s so much fucking money that he can just not only pay for the incense, like it's nothing, but set up a whole business partnership in the same snap of his fingers so i mean who's really Good in role. control here all right maybe i'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once mm. I'm up to it. i don't know i feel like zhongli kind of lost his touch with this last one because he just wasn't really able to swing it but then, now, there's Baiju. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, I look forward to your patronage in the future as well. There's <laughs> Baiju. And that sound is the laughter of a man who's found new people to fleece. Consider yourselves warned. That's not a warning. <laughs> I was about to say, so is Baiju like a really sweet guy just selling medicine? No. He's a drug dealer. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, and that sound is a lot yeah. of man who's. Hmm. Very interesting new boat in the dock. <laughs> Right now, I would say, you ask me which boat is the flagship right now. <sighs> yeah. God, it's hard. I want to say child. I want to say child. Because he seems to be the baddest boy of all. He's the one that really seems like he's up to no good, and he's involved in some really, really shady shit. And he has the most money, by far. Like, I feel like the kind of money that Child is throwing around is... Like... It makes Deluxe's winery money look like potatoes. <laughs> As it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. <clears throat> I just, I guess with this little interaction we had in Boo Boo Pharmacy... <sighs> Zhang Li, he just left, man. Did he not even have a plan B here? Made me feel like he's less in control. And that's the issue.
That's the issue. I need to see more power from this guy for me to, for him to, uh, get back in front. <laughs> Okay. Well, Traveler. Yeah, I just have you not... gained anything from our adventure so far? <sighs> yeah. Um It's been great. <laughs> it's been great. Uh I don't know what to think right now. I I gained some new boats. Odd. It's not. I'm not. Oh my god! It's, not, it's like I can say I'm not sure if we've been living the high life or, or experiencing the struggles of the poor. Have we been experiencing? I wouldn't say that. I would say I'm not sure we've been living the high life. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? You don't have to wonder, Zhongli. You have no money. The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, it's not I'll complicated at all. Over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided. What have you decided? To treat you to a meal. Oh. It's like he heard what I just said. He's trying to win me back now. Okay, all right. All right, all right. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, all right, all right. He's, okay, Tonight, okay. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Okay. <laughs> um... Oh, okay, we can go. We can go to the hole in the wall. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> no. No, that's not what that means. Harbor, at third round knockout. Okay. Um. Zhongli's treat. Okay, so he's going to make it up for me to me and he's gonna finally take me on a date 